Welcome to another lesson as we cover pneumothorax, hemothorax and flail chest. Throughout the video there will be NCLEX style questions to test your knowledge. Now let's begin. A pneumothorax is a lung collapse caused by the presence of air or gas in the pleural space. When air enters the pleural space during inspiration through a one-way valve and is unable to depart on expiration, a tension pneumothorax ensues. The suffocating air puts strain on the heart and lungs. As a result of the increased pressure, blood arteries are compressed and venous return is limited, resulting in a reduction in cardiac output. If not treated right away, death is a possibility. A tension pneumothorax creates a mediastinal shift because air and pressure continue to build in the pleural cavity. A collection of blood in the pleural space is known as hemothorax. When there is no trauma, a spontaneous pneumothorax can occur. Air enters the pleural space when a tiny bleb on the lung ruptures, when at least two nearby ribs, generally on one side of the chest, sustain numerous fractures, the chest wall becomes unstable, resulting in paradoxical chest wall movement. As a result, chest wall growth is severely limited. Risk factors Blunt chest trauma Closed occluded chest tube Penetrating chest wounds Older adult clients have decreased pulmonary reserves due to normal lung changes, including decreased lung elasticity and thickening alveoli. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also called COPD. Expected findings. Anxiety, pleuritic pain. Physical assessment findings. Manifestations of respiratory distress include signs of tachypnea, tachycardia, hypoxia, cyanosis, dyspnea and use of accessory muscles. Tracheal deviation to the unaffected side, which is more common with tension pneumothorax. Reduced or absent breath sounds on the affected side. Asymmetrical chest wall movement. Hyperresonance on percussion due to trapped air, which is more common with pneumothorax. Dull percussion, which is more common with hemothorax. Subcutaneous emphysema due to air accumulating in subcutaneous tissue. All right. Before moving on to learn about laboratory tests, let's try a practice question. This is a select all that apply question. In order to get this question correct, you have to select all the correct answers. A nurse is assessing a client following a gunshot wound to the chest. For which of the following findings should the nurse monitor to detect pneumothorax? Select all that apply. A. Tachypnea b. Deviation of the trachea c. Bradycardia d. Decreased use of accessory muscles e. Pleuritic pain Take a moment to pause here if you need to. The answer is a, b and e. Well, that ends this mini-lesson. If you like to review this entire lesson, check out the video listed here. Thanks for watching!